We got breaking news here. We have closure, too. It looks like we won't be waiting for any appeal. Things have been settled. There was a post made on Instagram, as you can see right here, and we're going to go over that. Now, a lot of the details are still developing. This is a developing story. Please check back for updates. So, I will try to make a follow-up video on this when we know a lot of the details, but as of right now, it is being reported that AH has settled the defamation case against JD. The settlement comes months after a weeks-long televised trial. I'm sure you know that. I covered it. A lot of people covered it. AH has settled her defamation case against ex-husband JD. She announced in an Instagram post on Monday, uh, AH36 called the decision to settle with JD59 very difficult, adding that it followed a great deal of deliberation. <laughs> you want to know what that deliberation was? The fact that she doesn't have the money to pay. Uh, now, I saw Nate, the lawyer, put they settled for a million dollars on his live stream that's going on right now. Uh, none of those details are in the articles that I found, so maybe he knows something that I don't know. But it does appear that they've reached a settlement and there won't be an appeal and she's not going to seek a new trial, which is smart of her. Now, this is the smartest thing that she can do, to be honest. What she needs to do, and I've said this time and time again, if she even wants to salvage her career at all, uh, she needs to just settle this and go into hiding for a while. Don't say like crazy, stupid things. Uh, just go into hiding for a year or two, maybe you know, spend time with your daughter and then maybe the public will forget and forgive and she can come back out and go back into Hollywood. But I don't think anything that like that is going to happen. She makes it very clear in this Instagram post, which I'm going to read to you now. After a great deal of deliberation, I have made a very difficult decision to settle the defamation case brought against me by my ex in Virginia. It's important for me to say that I never chose this, I defended my truth, and in doing so, my life as I knew it was destroyed. The vilification I faced on social media is an amplified version of the ways in which women are re-victimized when they come forward. Now I finally have an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago and on terms I can agree to. I have made no admission, and this is an act of... And this is not an act of concession. There are no restrictions or gags which, with respect to my voice moving forward, which means that she's probably going to say things again. However, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if she will. Like, we don't have the details here, but she doesn't have a gag order, which means if she wants to talk about it, she can. And I like that she, if you notice, there's some things in here. Like, you can tell a lawyer went over this because she says, I defended my truth. So her opinion, basically, because she lost. She did lose. And even though she's saying here, oh, I'm not making any admission. This is not concession. It is concession because you're dropping the appeal, basically. You're not moving forward with it. You're not going to try to get, get this win that you've been seeking. And once again, I attempted to leave over six years ago. That's a lie. You brought it up whenever you had the chance. You went to you went and had little those speeches, and you talked about it then. You've been trying to run him into the ground with your PR team for the past six years. Constantly. Constantly. But in a legal sense, this is over. I'm sure, I'm sure JD desperately wanted this to be over. He's ready to move on. He won. He got his truth, which is the truth out there, not hers. Uh, his side is the truth. That's why he won. That's why he won in court. She didn't. And she knows she's going to lose that appeal. Her appeal was embarrassing. I don't think I made a video on it, but I've talked about it on live streams. It's embarrassing. It all depended on uh, saying, oh, we need to go by the UK decision, which is a joke because that case was against the Sun not her, and the way things are done in the U.K. 
are very different than how they're done in the U.S. So that was a stupid, stupid argument. She tried to do it before the trial even started, and then she tried to do it again for the appeal. I think her lawyers realized this was just a losing battle. She wasn't going to win. And now she is backing down, and I think that's a smart decision. So the terms of the settlement were not immediately clear. I want to put that out like this is still a developing story. Like I'm sure Tug will eventually have some information on this, as obviously he knows Ben, not Ben Chu, but Adam Waldman. So I would expect the terms of this to come out in time. But as of right now, what we do know is that it's over. The settlement comes months after a week, weeks-long televised trial that accumulated with jurors finding that A.H. was defamed by J.D. by writing a 2018 op-ed for the Washington Post in which she described uh, being a victim. The verdict awarded Depp $10 million in damages and $5 million in damages. Heard was awarded $2 million in damages. In her statement... Uh, A.H. drew a contrast between how her case played out in the U.K. and in the U.S., writing that she has lost faith in the American legal statement. Yeah, or legal system. Yeah, I bet. I think justice prevailed here. Justice prevailed in this case. It did. Uh, finally, men have a voice. Uh, it's crushed the uh, Me Too movement. That, that movement is just was destroyed by this. And it deserves to be destroyed. You had opportunists like A.H. here come in, take advantage of it, expose that some people shouldn't just be believed. I don't think you should just believe and listen. What you should believe is facts and evidence. Like Rihanna. Rihanna, no one thinks uh, Chris Brown didn't do anything to her because she was dropping facts. She dropped pictures that you could tell a man had went at her. Uh, with AH, what you got were a lot of filters, a lot of BS, a lot of statements that didn't line up. And, you know, it all got put out there. JD got vindicated and she got exposed big time. And it shows that, for one, yes, men can be victims. Absolutely. And it's something a lot of people don't talk about. And that's probably the greatest thing that came out of that case is that finally the media was forced to recognize whether they like it or not that men can and are victims too. Anyway, that is pretty much it. It's crazy. So it looks like this is over. Over. It's done. And, uh, you know, finally everybody can move on. That's it. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.